Hi, people. So, <clears throat> welcome to stubbornmom.com. I just wanted to do this video now because the sun is shining on me and I look so glamorous. But honestly, like these are my jammies. I totally stayed in my jammies all day because some days are like that because life is hard. Anyways, today we're going to talk about fries. French fries. So if you eat gluten free like me, if you have an intolerance or an allergy, you might want to subscribe to my channel because I'll be putting out all kinds of gluten free eating videos. So subscribe and ding the bell. You'll feel like a winner and then you'll know when my videos are coming out. So let's talk about fries. French fries. Oh, French fries. I love French fries. Mm. The thing about when you start going gluten free is you think that there's a lot of stuff you can't eat anymore and I love french fries and it's confusing. A lot of people are confused about what french fries they can have and what french fries they can't so let's break that down. There are two things to consider when thinking about french fries. Number one, the first thing you want to think about is what is this made out of? What am I eating? So if you're having french fries, you need to think about, is this really made from a potato? So if it's like a super processed food, it kind of has the potato in there, it's infused in there, there's potato bits in there, but you're having potatoes plus other fillers. It could be, you know, your modified food starch and cornstarch, potato starch, maybe some rices, and definitely usually gluten if it's not a pure potato product. The other thing you want to think about when going to eat some french fries is ah, contamination. Contamination is a big deal when you want to go have some french fries. This is the trickier one to figure out because there might be a place that has really good authentically potatoey. That's a word I just made up. It means containing potato. You have a potatoey french fry and you wanna go have that, but then boom, it's contaminated because of the way that it's made in the restaurant or the fast food place that you wanna visit. So the contamination usually has to do with the fryer. They're going to be like placing like their nuggets and um, other bready, gluteny things in the same fryer where they fry the fries. Because you know, um, there are some baked fries out there um, and I make those at home too. I can put my recipe down below. Most fries are fried in a fryer. And so if that's contaminated, that can be an issue. So there are a lot of people out there that suggest places where you can go to get french fries. I'm gonna tell you the places that I like and that I approve of because I've tested them and they work for me and they don't make me sick. Disclaimer, I'm not your doctor or your mama, so. My disclaimer basically is this is what's worked for me and it's my advice, but you have to be careful and do what works for you. So what kind of places do I go to get fries? So here are some of the places where I go to have fries that are safe for me. Chick-fil-A, I really like Chick-fil-A, um, which is great because there's not a ton there that I eat. Um, I'm really picky about salads if they're pre-prepared and when I go to a fast food place, I'm not usually gonna have their salad. So when I go to Chick-fil-A, I just get the like Nakey Nuggies or Naked Nuggets, I don't know what they're called. <laughs> um, and those nuggets, um, I'll get fries with that. And that's great, um, those fries are really good and they've never given me a problem. Penn Station, I really like Penn Station's fries. Um, they definitely advertise them as being real fries. They're sliced from potatoes right there. At least they have a bunch of potatoes like in the restaurant so you think that they make them and I think they do. So they slice them into the slicer and they fry them up in the oil and those are really great. Um, and I don't frequent a lot of sandwich shops but I will do another video on sandwiches. But that is a place where really all I eat there are the fries. Um, for me, that's all I've tried so far. I just know that that's safe and I enjoy having the chance to have fries. Steak and shake. I was okay, I tried it. So I got a burger, no bun, which you have to like, you have to like state clearly, like yeah, just put me a burger on a plate with some pickles. And I had the fries. And that was a total gamble because I didn't know what was going to happen. I couldn't find anything online about it. And it, it was fine. I mean, I wouldn't say it's worth it because they're like these little straws. I didn't super enjoy them. It was fine. So that one was safe. The best, hands down, fry place. Um, the best place to have fries would be 
Red Robin. Red Robin, yum. I really, 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 really like their fries because they're like those big steak fries. And apparently, you know, it's supposed to be bottomless, right? So I'm like, um, excuse me, can you keep some more fries coming and some ranch, please? Um, but now the bottomless at Red Robin is kind of like they give you this tiny little container. And you're like, mmm, bottomless my butt whatever but their fries are really good and they're safe they used to have more seasoning on it and now I think they have it at the table correct me if I'm wrong um, but you can have their fries they just don't have the seasoning on it so there's no issues with that but the fries themselves are gluten-free and the seasoning is not on it so it's like totally safe and I really recommend those Okay, this is the controversial one. I do eat fries at Wendy's and they don't give me an issue. Some people with very severe sensitivities to gluten have issues with the fries at Wendy's. It could be contamination, it could be what they're made out of, but for me, um, I felt like, and it was probably like a decade ago, they advertised that their food was a lot more fresher. And so when I was in that trial and error process, I tried them and they worked good for me. They look like they're made out of potatoes. <laughs> so um, I really like those. My favorite way to have fries is from the frozen section of the grocery store. Orida, I think that's how you say it. Orida, they make a lot of uh, frozen potato products. Um, it says gluten-free on it and I can read the ingredients. I don't think it's certified gluten-free, but if I'm wrong, you can correct me in the comments down below. Um, and so that is totally safe. It's within my control in my kitchen. I know it's not gonna be contaminated with anything and I can make it myself. And I know that that's safe. And the best way that I recommend to have fries is to make them yourself. I don't own a fryer because that'll make my house a little too stinky greasy for me. Um, but I just kind of do the oven baking. But if you're adding a lot of oils to it, like olive oil, it kind of has the effect of the fry. Um, and it'll like pop and crackle in the, in the oven. But I really like making those. I make sweet potato fries and regular french fries. And I will put links to my favorite recipes down below. They're some of my favorite Pinterest recipes. You can also follow my G Free Me pin board on suburbmom.com on Pinterest. All right, guys. Well, that's it for today about all the fries that I eat out there. There are tons more restaurants and fast food places that have fries that you might like to try. So if you have tried some and they work for you, comment down below. If you have a great warning about a place just to not try their fries, please put that down below too. If you wanna hear more about gluten-free eating, subscribe. Also, if you wanna learn more about what SuburnMom.com is about, I'm stubborn about a lot of things. I'm one of those is eating gluten-free. I hope you like, share, comment, subscribe, share this with someone who you think would like it. Eating gluten-free is hard. Life is hard, but don't let it harden you. See you next time.